Hi. Today's airplane is actually the opposite of the last airplane. Last airplane was the B1, which was really complex and really expensive and went really fast. This is the OV1 Bird Dog, uh, made by the Cessna Corporation, based off the Cessna 170. Um, only went about 105 miles per hour. What it was really good at was going slow. It could go 35 miles per hour. And the way we used this plane was forward air controls. So the pilot could fly over a contested area, look down and, and figure out where artillery needed to be fired. And then he could call the artillery batteries and say, fire on these coordinates and stuff would go and blow up. Taking it to the next level, my buddy Andy Gramlich, who flew this plane a lot uh, over Vietnam and Laos, uh, you could actually slow the plane down, get the flaps way down there, you know. And by the way, we, we built it so that the uh, tail can move too. But anyway, get, get, get it so it can go real slow, right near stalling speed. And he claims he could get it down into the high 20s in, in uh, knots. And uh, fly over an area where you think there is a gun or a piece of artillery or something that's been firing at American soldiers. And then... It's going so slow, someone's going to shoot at it. Boom, 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 boom. They shoot at it. You gun the engines and get out of there. Now you know where the bad guy is. You gain altitude. You come back and you fly in a dive and you launch one of these rockets at the target. Of course, the rockets don't explode. The rockets are only phosphorus bombs. They just poof, flash and then smoke comes up from the spot. Then you get on the radio. The pilot gets on the radio and says, uh, I need bombs dropped in such and such coordinates relative to the smoke. You tell them where it is. And the fast moving pilots that almost never get shot down over South Vietnam because they do everything really fast and the real dangerous job is done by the person flying this airplane. They fly over and they drop their bombs and they're back in Thailand and having drinks by the time the uh, Vietnamese even heard the plane go by. So that was what this plane was used for, forward air control. Uh, my friend, uh, Dick Balsamo, who was on the ground in Vietnam, always says, oh, I love the forward air control guys. Thank them for me whenever you meet them. And uh, that's what it did, just directed things. So uh, it did, some versions of it had one little machine gun, but by and large, this was not a, uh, uh, an offensive weapon, but more of an observation weapon that then directed the other weapons. Um, we had, to give you some idea how dangerous this, this the pilots were, uh, lived, what the danger was they lived in. Um, almost 500 of these were shot down over Vietnam and Laos, Cambodia. Uh, and those pilots usually went down someplace um, that was unfriendly. And there was a target on them. There was a bounty on, on getting these guys because they were a very effective force for us. So uh, you didn't want to be that. And if you did go down, well, then all you had for your arm was your handgun. And you'd try and sneak out of the jungle and be back at work next day, but probably not. Pretty rough job. Anyway, the OV-1 Bird Dog, uh, built by Cessna. Good job, Boo. Great job, Andy and Dick. Thank you.